Hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Sarah Maceo, CRM Specialist here at the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau. Today we're learning about the GMCVB Partner Extranet and how to make changes and manage your account online. And we've already covered some basics about the Extranet, how to update company information, update contacts, update descriptions, manage videos, manage images, and now we're going to show you how to manage events. Before we get started, I just want to remind you that you can download the latest how-to guides at www.tinyurl.com forward slash GMCVB Partner Extranet. And we'll be using the Extranet login page at http colon forward slash forward slash partners.miamiandbeaches.com forward slash partner dash login. And we're actually going to go ahead and move right over to our extranet now so I can show you exactly how we're going to do that. And I'm going to get started from the beginning. All right, perfect. Um, now before I show you how to log in and actually make changes to these events, I want to show you where you'll be able to find them on our website. So if you go to our website at miamiandbeaches.com and you click on events. We can search for events by keyword or by date. And so in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it with this date range and search to see what comes up. So as we can see, there's a few different um, events that come up. And you can click on any one of them to view details about those events. So here's an example, Art Deco walking, walking Tours. And then it has a dates and then descriptions, a description rather. And then we have the details about where it is and then the website. And um, if we go back also, you'll see that you can refine um, these events by event types as well. And there's all kinds of different ones in here. So our calendar of events is managed by an internal staff member here, so you can either get in contact um, with that staff member by sending an email to calendar at gmcvb.com, or you can also submit your event using the Partner Extranet, and that's what we're going to do right now. So on the Partner Login page, we're going to use our credentials to log in. And once we do that, again, we have all of our options right here in the center of the screen, and we're going to choose Manage Events. All right, and we've got one already in here. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is show you how to delete one. If you have one in here that you don't want anymore, you can just click on the row to highlight it in this gray, and then click on the delete link. And it'll tell you that your deletion has been submitted to us and will be updated promptly. Now do note, just like everything else on the extranet, except for special offers, goes through an approval process. So before this event will actually go away, it does have to go through that approval process, which usually takes less than two business days. And in a lot of cases, we get it done right away, same day. And once we do that, you'll see that it will no longer be, appear in your list. So we're going to go ahead and add a new event. And once we click on that button, you'll have a new blank form that appears. And this is actually pretty easy to do. So let's say that. We want to add a new event here, and we'll call it our Beach Barbecue and Triathlon. Okay, kind of a funny combination, Barbecue and Triathlon. Okay. Um, if it were an annual event, we could check that checkbox off. And if it were family friendly, we could also check that off. And I think a barbecue and triathlon could be both, so we'll go for that. And we also want to enter a date range, start end and start time and end time. Now, our date ranges, there can be multiple. If this event happens, let's say, every Tuesday or even just multiple times a year, as long as you know what the dates are, you can enter them here. You can either select the date by clicking on this calendar drop-down in the box and choosing the date, or you can type it in the box in the same format. Okay. And for the start time, we'll say that starts at 11 o'clock a.m. 
All right, and it ends at 3 o'clock p.m. All right, great. And you'll see that now that we've completed the first line, we have additional blank lines uh, that will continue to be added so that you can continue adding as many date ranges as you'd like. But once you're finished, you can leave that additional blank line at the bottom and it'll be just fine. Now next uh, on our form here, there's a little drop down that's labeled program. And in your case, you may not have anything that appears in this list, but I will explain it to you. You may be aware that we have multiple temptations programs throughout the year, such as Miami Spice, Miami Spa, Film Month, Sports Month. We have all these different programs. And if, you, if your company is participating in any of these programs and are eligible to enter events that are related to those temptations, you will have those applicable programs appear in this drop-down, and you can actually tag this event as being part of a program. So in addition to it appearing on our website under the events section, it will also appear on the microsite for that temptation under the events section. So you're kind of doubling your exposure in a way. Now the days times box you can use in case um, it is one of those things that I mentioned before where this event happens you know, three times a week um, all year where you may not be able to enter all those dates in the date ranges area up above, in which case what you would do, um, you would just type today's date for the start date and then end it a year from today, let's say, and then in the days and times box you would type in um, this event, you know, takes place every um, Monday and Tuesday um, of every week. Perfect. And then for the hours, you are required to enter the hours, um, but do be aware that we've already seen your start time and end time appear, but for now we do need for you to repeat it, and we will be changing that functionality soon. We apologize for that inconvenience in the meantime. All right. And then finally, we can select a contact person. And again, the contact person comes from the contact section in the extranet. So you'll only be able to choose a person here, not type one in. But as soon as you um, are able to, uh, as soon as you know who it is, you can just select them from the list and go from there. So in this case, it will take whoever I've selected and autofill the information from that person's contact profile and just put it, put it right in there. Um, the price field, um, you can enter price in there just like that. It is free form text. And a little bit further down on the form, we have an event description. So you can add some more information about the event. All right. Great. And once you've done that, you can select some additional categories. So what categories does this fit into? Um, and we do ask that you're very specific, because if you try to update something or select categories that don't apply, we will make sure to correct that for you before the event is seen on our website. So in this case, it's not going to be an art event, nor charitable dance. It is family friendly, um, not fashion festival film. It is food and drink. It's a barbecue, so go with that. And um, sports, I would say, and that's about it. All right. And for the microsite information, if something does appear in this box and uh, we want this to appear in conjunction with a program, uh, a temptation, you can select it here. However, these categories will be removed rather shortly since we now have this uh, program drop down already. And now finally, you do also have the ability to upload an image that is related to this event. And if that's the case, then when someone views the event on the website, it will have a different picture than what would normally appear on your partner listing, your detail page. Um, if you do not upload an image here, we will just select a photo from your company's image gallery. And if you have any images in there, we'll just use one of those, like I said. But if you choose to upload an image here, remember that it also has to 
match the same image criteria as for uh, the regular Manage Images section, so it would have to be at least 605 pixels wide by 360 pixels tall and can be no larger than 2 megabytes. And also give it a caption. All right. And if we were adding more pictures, which you can add more than one, you can choose a sort order here. We do want to show it on web. It's not a logo, so we're not going to put anything there. And the category, we can't categorize it as anything, so we'll leave it just like that. Next, we've got attachments. So if we want to put an attachment with our calendar of events listing, we can do that. And it, it, some ideas for that might be, let's say, if you have kind of like a, a flyer like this, for example, um, you could do that. All right, and uh, it could be a coupon or um, a map of your, if it's, a, if it's an event, a festival, or something like that, um, listing of vendors, anything like that. And it will appear just as a, as a downloadable document. And finally, if you have any videos that you want to add, you can do that. And uh, we're not uploading the videos, actually, we're just linking. So again, your video has to be hosted somewhere. So if it's on YouTube, for example, Okay, if that's the link, you would paste it right in there. And we'll put last year's video on there, let's just say. All right, great. Click OK. And we're done. We are ready to submit our event. And once we do that, again, we get the on-screen message that tells us that the changes we submitted have been emailed. Now at this point, Somebody from our team will be reviewing your submission and making sure that it meets all the requirements to be shown on the web. And if everything is approved, you will not be notified, but if we need to contact you for some reason to ask you any questions about your event, you'll be hearing from us either by phone or email. So once you are done here, you'll be taken back to the main screen. Uh, you won't see your event in here right away, basically because you'll probably need to whoops you probably need to just refresh the page all right you may not see it in here actually until it's approved now that i think of it um, but once you've submitted it and you want to move on to the next thing you can either make a selection from this top menu you can return to the main menu you can log out or if you're a partner that represents multiple companies, you can click on the Access Related Partner. That link will become active for you, and you can toggle between different companies. All right, and that concludes how to manage events. I'm going to take you back to our home screen here so you can have a look and see what my contact information is in case you have any questions. You can email me at sarah, that's S-A-R-A-H, at gmcvb.com, or give me a call at 305-539-3059. I thank you very much for joining me and have a wonderful day.